Check out my Society6 shop at society6.com forward slash keep it crafty. Or for these specific products, you can find links in the description below. In order to make this balloon monkey, you'll need to start out by pumping up a brown 260 balloon three-fourths of the way. Make a small one-finger bubble. Then make a pinch twist by twisting the nozzle of the balloon into the twist you just made. Then find the space between the twist and the bubble and tuck the nozzle in there to prevent the twist from coming undone. Next, make a three finger bubble. Then make another one finger bubble. Then do another pinch twist by pinching the two surrounding bubbles and twisting the one finger bubble again. Then you're going to want to make another three finger bubble. It may help to measure it against the previous three finger bubble. Then twist the ends of the three finger bubbles together. If at any time the balloon feels too tight, just give it a squeeze to distribute the air. Next, you'll want to make one more three finger bubble. Now twist it into the other side. So far, you should have two one finger bubbles that are the monkey's ears and three three-finger bubbles that make up the monkey's head. Now you're going to want to twist and pull the remainder of the balloon in between these two bottom bubbles. Make sure it ends up in the center because this will be the monkey's neck and body. Now make a one-finger bubble for its neck. Hold the last twist between your pinky and ring finger so it doesn't come undone as you do the next few steps. Then make another three finger bubble. Then make another one finger bubble. Then squeeze the bubble surrounding the one finger bubble and do a pinch twist. Then make another one finger bubble. And do another pinch twist. Now you have an arm, two little hands, and we're about to make the second arm by twisting another three finger bubble. Next, you'll want to twist the arms together. Depending on how much room you have left, make a three or four finger bubble for the body. If the end of your balloon is still deflated, then give it a squeeze or two as you make the two back legs. Make two more three finger bubbles for the back legs. and then twist them together. The end of the balloon will, of course, be the monkey's tail. Bend it in half and squeeze it to give it a curve.
Then draw on a face using a Sharpie. Now put your monkey aside for a minute and pull out a yellow 160 balloon. Pump it up 3 fourths of the way. Then make a 6 finger bubble. Then make two more six finger bubbles. Twist the second and third bubbles together. Then make two more six finger bubbles. and twist them together. Cut off and deflate the end. Then wrap the tail around the center twist. Then cut off the tail Then take the nozzle and wrap it around two of the bubbles. Then do the same thing with the other two bubbles. If you're in a hurry, of course you can just wrap the nozzle from the bananas around the monkey's hands, but I prefer wrapping the monkey's hand around the bananas because it really makes it look like the monkey's grasping the bananas, whereas if you use the nozzle, it kind of just looks like they're hanging from a string. So it's really just a matter of preference. <laughs> 